When word came that Republicans were rushing a vote, Senate Democrats reacted quickly. Yeah, some considered coming back to the Capitol, but others were steadfast in their desire to stay there. Stay put in Illinois. Andy Choi has more of the reaction from Senate Democrats tonight, Andy. Eric and Sarah, the 14 Democratic senators tell us tonight's GOP move is a betrayal of the working class in Wisconsin. While it's unclear when the lawmakers will make their return to the state, Senator Chris Larson tells me he actually started driving back to Madison when he realized what was happening, then turned around after realizing the vote had already been made. I started driving as soon as I heard that this was going to be happening, that they were going to try and split this and pass this the way that they did. Um, and um, it was unfortunate that, that there was no opportunity for input. We took a very, very unusual action in going to Illinois, uh, but it was legal. Uh, they took a very, very unusual action tonight, which may not have been legal. But the problem is that the, the escalation of reaction um, has, to, has to stop. We didn't force them into anything. Uh, they would not debate the bill. They were not going to amend the bill when we were up in Wisconsin. They were going to put time limits on the debate, and they were going to try and make this law within a week. And you're talking about six decades' worth of strong bipartisan support for collective bargaining in the state of Wisconsin. At this point, the Democratic senators tell us they are planning to meet tomorrow in Illinois to regroup and discuss a new strategy moving forward, which includes challenging the legality of the GOP senators' actions tonight. All right, Newsreads Andy Choi reporting. Andy, thank you very much.